Jesus was tempted in every way but without sin. Hebrews 4.15, we do not have a high priest, come on, this should make someone shout, who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are, yet without sin. It's not a sin to be tempted. Sin happens when you give in to the temptation. James writes about this. Everyone is tempted. He goes, you know, through the, he goes, when we give in to the temptation... And sin conceives. And when sin conceives, it brings forth death. So you've got to recognize the temptation. Just don't give in to it. Jesus shows us, as fully God and fully man, how to live on this planet free of temptation. Completely submitted to the Father, to God's Word, walking in relationship with Him. Now the good news about Hebrews 4.15 is what follows. Hebrews 4.16. And the writer says, Therefore, listen, because we have a high priest, right? Who is never tempted without, without any sin. We can then come boldly before the throne of grace to ask for grace and mercy to help in our time of need. What a promise. It's because Jesus completely conquered over sin, death, and the grave. So Jesus gives us that example. And so how to live victorious over the traps of the enemy. Again, we all face it. We need to pray, Lord, keep me away from temptation. Prayer then can help us avoid the pitfalls, the schemes, and the traps of the enemy. 